Hello friends, welcome to this channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Dev Sek Ops. To understand Dev Sek Ops, let's look at a common Dev Ops flow where things are streamlined, everything is automated and fast. So, developers checking the code and an application delivery pipeline starts. The changes are tested with automated test and a version is built and deployed to the test environment where more automated tests will run and when everything is fine a green light is given to the new version to be released so the super optimized and automated flow makes application delivery fast without manual effort from developers or testers etc and the new version of the application is ready to be released in production. Well, not really. Because what about security? If your application is an online banking app or, or a social media platform that millions of people use or, or e-shop with credit card information and other sensitive personal data, you want to make sure that there is no there are no security holes in your application because getting hacked and leaking sensitive data of your user may be detrimental to your business. So before deploying it to the production, the security team must test the new version for any vulnerability and other security issues. What if the developer is used a new library that has some vulnerability what if it has some special licensing requirements? What if passwords are exposed? And what if container image has security issues? What if the Kubernetes component for the application are mis misconfigured? And of course, this could all be the things that developer themselves are not even aware of. So the security team will run tests and analyze the code changes and look for any security issues in the application and this may take hours or days or if you have a complex application then it will take weeks also the security team may find thousands of vulnerability and issues and send them to developers to fix in that new version however in the meantime because of the efficient develop devops cycle a couple of new version has been created which are all waiting now in the queue for the security audit so you see the problem here you have this super optimized devops process that you built and are proud of but right before the release the security checks and audit blocks the whole process delaying the release of fix now why does security audit take so long to understand why it's bottleneck in the process, think about how applications have evolved over the last year. We have microservices now instead of one monolith application, right? And they expose APIs to communicate, which means much more attack surface. On, on top of that, we have tons of services which microservices use like database, message brokers, service mesh applications, etc. So even more applications and more a tech surface. Now this may all run in containers, which is yet another layer where security issue may arise. And all this may run on a cloud platform, maybe on a Kubernetes cluster. So you see that you have many layers of infrastructure and application and many components which need securing and the security teams themselves need to also learn and understand all these platform and technologies to be able to identify the issues. So now how to fix the problem? The answer is by integrating security in DevOps or in other words shifting security to the left. So 
instead of thinking about security after a new feature is developed and tested right before releasing it and solving them in chunks start thinking about security right at the beginning and solve it right away as soon as security issue appear so how that work in practice and how can security be infused or integrated in this devops process instead of being a separate step here well first of all security becomes a developer responsibility too instead of just being a responsibility of dedicated professionals and the security team itself become more of a facilitator and advisor to developer and operational team helping them understand and message security rather than being like an external police that blocks the development speed so the security team will create security policies then they will create or select proper automation tools and platform for detecting and identify any security issues and vulnerability and this could be security scans code quality checks automated security tests of the application etc and they will then train and teach developer and operational team how to interpret on the output of the tools so that they can identify and fix the issue themselves and one of the great security tool for the modern devops is k10 so all the security tool and platform will be integrated in this ci cv pipelines and on every push to a feature branch or master branch these tools will run and developers will get automated outputs on their application security status and what issue and vulnerability need to be fixed if no security issues the pipeline will deploy and release the application so the manual work of security professionals will be automated and integrated into the application delivery pipeline making the release process much faster apart from the speed itself also know that having security checks later in the process increases the risk of security issues sliding into the production and fixing security issue in production is much more expensive on the other hand identifying them and fixing them in the in a feature branch is much more efficient because because of the short feedback cycle right after commit and push the developer will know the security issue they cause right away and fix it faster without a context switch so overall the dev sec ops process will make the whole process delivery faster again by reducing the feedback cycle on any security issue and by infusing the security checks throughout the pipeline instead of having it as big task right before a release i hope you all guys are clear with this if you have any doubt or in question feel free to ask in the comment section below thank you for watching bye and have a nice day